All right, boys, check out the new game we shall be playing alongside our other series. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons. The latest game in the Animal Crossing series after New Leaf, which we will still continue playing. This game is trash compared to New Leaf. New Leaf is the most goaded Animal Crossing game. The only thing this has going for it is fancy graphics. Yeah, Trump, I can't deny that, but this game is still fun to play. Also, Joe, isn't this the game your administration made an island for? Just to promote yourself to become president? I was hoping you would have forgotten about that, Obama. So that's how you won, Joe, for fuck's sake? I should have come up with that idea myself. How did I not think of this? That was some 10 billion IQ strat. Joe, congratulations. I must admit that was probably not my idea. I say probably because I can't remember if it was or not. But anyway, boys, let's get started. I am so looking forward to spending time with these two small Tanoki children in higher resolution. Oh God, here we go. Let's just play Obama and ignore he said that. Come on, Joe, what do we do? Well, first we gotta choose our name and birthday. Let's use the name we use for our New Leaf series and call ourselves Trobama. And the birthday can be the guy who's running this channel. I agree, sounds good. Oh look, we get to design our character. All right, Joe, make us as white as possible. Trump enough with that. How about we just meet in the middle? Yeah, let's meet in the middle, otherwise we might fight again, and I hate fighting with my two best friends. All right, fine. Now for the hair, the options are pretty shit. How about we just choose the one we have for now? Yeah, good idea, Trump. He looks like me then, so I'm fine with that, LML. Okay, for the eyes, I vote we have no eyebrows. Joe, how the fuck can we not have eyebrows? I'm with Trump Joe. How can we not have eyebrows? Just because you are so old and your eyebrows look like slugs doesn't mean our Animal Crossing character can't have any. I don't like eyebrows, they freak me out, so I don't want them. Jesus Christ, Joe, find no eyebrows. But I'm only saying yes to this, otherwise we will be here in this stupid menu forever. Good, okay, so what do you guys think of our character now? I feel like we look like a shaved rabbit. Yeah, not gonna lie, Joe changed the fucking mouth, geez. All right, fine, now we get to choose what our island looks like. Absolutely bottom left island. Yeah, Joe picked that bottom left island. It's so nice, it makes me gooey. I like the top right one, though. Joe, you're going to pick the bottom left island since you decided if we had eyebrows or not, you stupid gimp. No surprise, Joe would bring a sleeping bag, Elmau. Elmau, all right, boys, here we go. Let's hope we get some good villagers. I don't want no ugly fucks living with us. Joe, if we get ugly villagers, you are restarting everything. Agreed, no ugly fucks allowed. Look, we are landing now on a seaplane, and I actually like these two. Yeah, I guess it could have been a lot worse, except that cat wearing underwear on his head is a bit strange. Yeah, agreed, Trump, but anyway, let's go to the plaza now and see what's going on. Oh, look, it's Tom Nook again. I guess these must be his children. I wish they were my children. OMG, Joe, seriously, when will you ever stop with this shit? Okay, Joe, you gotta get a tent from Tommy first, then we can go place it somewhere. I think for now, just place it close by, since we will have to do lots of running about otherwise, and I read we can move our house later. This spot looks good, Joe, and what's good in this game is we can decide where our underlings will live instead of in New Leaf, where that moron moved right next to us. I agree, Trump, that was really annoying, but anyway, let's go see what else we have to do. Look, we already get to choose where those other two peasants will live. Joe, please keep them both as far away from us as possible, especially that cat. That cat does look a bit sus, not gonna lie. He looks like a bandit who will break into our tent at night with that mask over his head. Yeah, Obama, I agree. Leave him right here, Joe. I don't want him anywhere near us. Okay, now we need to go find that penguin to help. I must say, she does look quite cute, don't you agree? Nah, she's trash. Rold is the most goat penguin villager in the series, and dare I say, probably one of the best villagers full stop. I agree, Rold is pretty good, Obama, but I think Kabuki and Raymond are some of the best villagers in the game. I remember hearing people were actually selling Raymond for real money. Geez, what's happened to the youth today? People were spending real money on a virtual cat. What kind of dumbass would do that? Says the person who spends most of America's budget on ice cream, you fool, Amal. Yeah, Joe, shut the fuck up. You can't talk when you live off ice cream. Anyway, let's go see what Tom Nook has to say now. Looks like we need to collect some sticks, Joe. Also, you should collect some apples now as well, since we will need them after the sticks. Yeah, good idea, Trump. It will save us some time if we get the apples now. Okay, boys, looks like we are having a festival to celebrate the new island we have taken over. Yes, just what I like to do. We came, we saw, and we conquered. Oh, guys, look, we can name our island too. I think we should name this place like our founding fathers before us and call our island USA. Looks like we are having a vote on what our island should be called. Oh yes, I do love democracy. Shut the fuck up, Obama. We are gonna turn this into a dictatorship, just watch. We will imprison all the ugly villagers and then sell them on Nukazan. 
Donald, they say history doesn't repeat, but rhymes, however, you are literally making it repeat if we do that. I agree with Obama, Trump. You are not turning this island into an auction house selling off villagers willy-nilly. Joe, you better be careful, otherwise you might find yourself being sold on Nukazon and for only one bell to Elmau. Look, guys, we have been made the island representative, which means we can make all the orders. This is basically a dictatorship now, let's be honest. Whatever you both should just shut up. Look, we get to drink our apple juice now and then we can take a nap. All right, Sleepy Joe, go have your nap. We have lots to do now in the morning. Ooh, look, it's K.K. Slider. I always blasted his tunes in the Oval Office when I was president. Me too, Obama. He is without a doubt the best musician in the world. My favorite song is K.K. Cruising. Look, he's talking about how important friends are. And I just want to say I am so happy to be playing this game with you both, my two best friends. That's sweet, Joe. We will always be your friends forever. Yeah, Joe, we will always be your friends, buddy. Look, Tom is giving us a phone now called the Nook phone. Oh, nice, except we now have to pay almost 50,000 bells for everything. That's way more than New Leaf. We will make that easy, Trump, don't worry. But how about we call it a day, guys? I'm getting sleepy IRL now. Yeah, good idea, Joe. Thanks for watching, everyone, and please like the video and subscribe and hit the bell, too, so you know when a new video is out. It really helps our channel out. Hey boys, let's jump straight back into New Horizons and see what we have to do today. Yeah, Donald, it seems Tom Nook is giving a morning announcement. Yep, we have lots to do today. We have to pay our house off and start collecting iron ore and other resources. First, Tom wants us to do one of his workshops on crafting, it seems. Sounds incredibly boring, so Joe, you can do that shit. Fuck off, Donald. The only thing I'm gonna do is fish today, since I read we have to collect bugs and fish so Blathers can build his museum. Yeah, Donald, we do have to do lots of fishing because the museum is very pretty inside and also Brewster is finally in the game, so we can have to go coffee every day. Can you believe the internet went crazy over a virtual pigeon so much so? Nintendo was forced to add it to the game? Yeah, Donald, but I mean, Brewster is a fan favorite character. And it was strange they didn't add him to the game from the beginning. This game still feels so unfinished too, and it's three years old now. Like I said in the first video of this series, New Leaf is the most goaded game in the series, and this is quite frankly absolute shit compared to New Leaf. I only like the graphics. Donald is right, but anyway, guys, let's see what Tom Nook wants first. Well, Joe, first we need to get 5,000 Nook miles to get our house built. And with you playing, that will literally take a billion years, so I suggest we make some cuts later, right, Donald? Right, Obama LML, but first, Joe, do the workshop so we can start crafting shit. Look, guys, the first thing we get to craft is a fishing rod. That means I can spend the rest of this video fishing for our viewers. Which reminds me, guys, please remember to like and subscribe the video and our channel. The only correct thing you said in that statement was telling them to like and subscribe, Joe. We are not spending the rest of this video fishing. You will literally put our viewers to sleep, you idiot. Actually, Donald, we do need to fish a lot so we can get Nook Mile points, so let Joe fish for a bit. Shut the fuck up, you pig Donald, and let me fucking fish. Geez, you never let me do anything I want, and it's my turn to play. Lol, Joe, once again, you just proved how useless you are, and you want me to let you fish? Just like in New Leaf, you are still incapable of fishing. Take your dementia pills, and maybe you will remember how the game works, you walking fossil. Donald, that was my first fish of the game, so give me a break. The only thing you'll do is eat everything I catch anyway, so I'd prefer to miss the fish and leave them in the river compared to catching so many. And then the last thing they see before they die is your fat face. Oh, Mal, the only thing you can catch is rocks, Joe. You are so fucking useless. Hello, Mal, Joe, that was pretty bad. How did you only manage to catch a rock? Guys, you both know this is all luck, and just like in real fishing, I can't decide what I want to catch, can I? I make my own luck, Joe, so yes, you are just trash at Animal Crossing. Donald, the only way you would make your own luck is by hacking the game or something, because you are so fucking lazy to do any work yourself, which is the main reason why you are letting Joe play so much, so he can do all the work now and then. You will be able to play more later. Obama, shut the fuck up. He's doing all the work for you too, you dumbass. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Okay, Joe, keep playing. You are doing so well, and Donald and I don't mind you playing more. Wait, what were you guys saying? Jesus Christ, Joe. Obama, we are both lucky to be playing with this idiot and also cursed to be playing with this idiot. Yeah, but right now his idiosity is working in our favor, Donald. My only concern is we have to make sure Joe saves and quits the game, otherwise Mr. Rossetti will be coming for us with his axe. Got some bad news for you about Mr. Rossetti, Obama? No, they fucking didn't. Unfortunately, they did. Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck even is this useless fucking trash game? They got rid of every single major character, and now this game is the same amount of trash as the Halo series. 
Okay, Joe, tell us what you have been up to before Obama sends some drones to the people who have ruined this game. Yeah, Obama seemed to be getting quite angry there for some reason. Yeah, Joe, because this game could have been so good, but they fucked it harder than Donald fucked our country up. And now it's ruined. Okay, let's change the topic real quick. Wait, my rant isn't over. Oh, God. Look, it's about time someone around here started spitting some facts about how shit the Animal Crossing series has become, content-wise. I would go as far as saying this game is worse than even Pocket Camp, which I play a lot on my phone. The amount of items that game has and updates too, then this game is just unbelievable. And for this game, they said they would do updates every year for the next three years. And they have given us sweet fuck all. It took them almost two fucking years to give us a virtual pigeon and pigeon milk, whatever that is. But I didn't care, all I wanted was my damn pigeon milk. And now the last thing they gave us was Cap'n and some stupid island with nothing on it. Where the hell is Gracie Grace? More store upgrades instead of the fucking shack we get stuck with forever after upgrading Nook's Cranny. Where is the island mini games we used to have in New Leaf with Tortimer? This game is as bland as Joe's White House speeches. Fuck this game and everything about it. Okay, so Joe, I think we should cut here until we have 5,000 Nook Mile points before Obama goes full Anakin Skywalker on the younglings. Um, yeah, Donald, good idea. I have never seen Obama this angry about anything before. They have completely ruined my favorite game series and I will not fucking stand for it. Okay, Joe, definitely time to cut. Um, okay, whilst Obama was having his Fuhrer moment, I managed to get a shit ton of points so we can finally pay off our first loan and build a house. Wow, Joe, you did something useful, well done. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Now look, boys, we get to choose the roof color of our house and I want yellow. Since then, we won't get into an argument like we did in New Leaf, and I think if we make Obama angrier, he might nuke the planet. Okay, Joe, I do gotta agree with you there. Also, why is Obama so quiet still? Do you think he's still angry? Yes, Donald, I am still fucking angry. This will cheer you up, Obama. I have given Tom Nook enough critters that Blathers is calling him now. Meaning we have started building the museum, and you like the museum, don't you? Because it's so pretty. Yes, Joe, that's true. Thank you for trying to make me feel better. However, as soon as the museum is built, I will be reminded of this game's trashiness because my boy Brewster won't be there yet. Look, Obama, we can't have everything, can we? I wanted a second term as president, but you don't see me here bitching about it, do you? LML, Donald, you are literally doing the opposite, but thanks for the laugh. Look, guys, this is the perfect place for Blather's tent, don't you think? Yeah, Joe, just stick it anywhere for now. We can move it later if we want. Okay, boys, I think we should call it a day and give Obama some time to recover from his rant. What do you think? Yeah, good idea, Donald. We might not have a planet to live on tomorrow otherwise. Both of you shut the fuck up. To all the viewers, though, thank you for watching. And I'm sorry I went off. I am just very passionate about Animal Crossing. Please remember to like the video and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we upload a new video. I see we are playing this trash again, boys. Obama, shut the fuck up. You made your point in the last video about how much you hate this game, but it's a part of our series now. So try to enjoy it. Yeah, Obama, if Donald says something positive for once, then you are really losing it. Whatever, guys, but at least Gulliver is here and we can build the museum tomorrow if we donate the rest of the critters to the museum. Yeah, so let's begin and see what Tom Nook's announcement is. Oh, yay, Blathers is here finally. Okay, boys, let's make this a positive series from now on. Remember to like and subscribe, everyone. Oh, yeah, our house should be built today, too. Yeah, and I want to try to get terraforming too, so we can start building an awesome island and then invite all our viewers to it when it's done. Ooh, look guys, our house looks so cute and small like Joe's dick a mouth. Um, Donald, what did you just say? Yeah, Donald, what did you just say about my little Biden? Um, oh, um, let's just play, guys. Uh-huh, Donald, you just said Joe's little Biden is cute and adorable. All right, enough talking about my little Biden. We have lots to do today, guys. Let's see, we have mail, and then we have to start donating critters and fossils to Blathers and clean these fucking weeds up before my son smokes it all. Yeah, Joe, let's go see Blathers and start donating shit. I really want the museum so I can calm my rage about this stupid game. Wow, look how cute and adorable his little tent is, just like Joe's little Biden. <laughs> Donald, stop talking about my little Biden for fuck's sake. Look, Blathers wants us to donate critters, and I have read that we need to donate 15 more items before the museum is built. Ooh, look guys, Blathers is sending us the recipe for a vaulting pole so we can jump over the river and find fossils. Yay! Yeah, and he also gave us a recipe for a shovel too, so we can dig the fossils up. And that's another thing that's absolute trash about this game, is that who the fuck breaks a shovel after 10 uses? 
The whole crafting and recipe system is such bullshit in this game. I do gotta agree with you, Obama, and also the fact that there is no bulk crafting. Don't even get me started on the bulk crafting. Who has time to craft fish bait individually instead of all at once? What were the developers on when they made this game? Before you both start bitching about this game more, look. Tom is telling us about our new house being built. Joe, I have fucking eyes. I saw that we have a house as soon as the game started, you dumbass. All right, well now we have to pay 98,000 bells, which we can easily make using my supreme fishing strats. Yeah, and we have to collect resources for Timmy to build his fucking bullshit shop. I say we edit that out since getting those resources will take ages, Obama, and let Joe do all that slave work, LMAO. Yeah, good idea. Donald Joe can do all that. LMAO, also Joe, go donate more stuff to Blathers. I have already donated lots of stuff to him, Obama. And by the way, Donald, I am not being your bitch anymore, so go fuck yourself, ha 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 ha, gimp. Yes, you will, Joe. I am commander here, so do as I say, you little bitch. Wow, this guy is living like a fucking peasant LMAO. He's definitely going to break into our house and steal our stuff so he can decorate his house. Yeah, I say we leave this place immediately. Also, I'm gonna cut here, guys, to tomorrow when we will have the resources for the shop, and it will be daytime, too. All right, Joe, and also, guys, look, it's raining so we can catch a coelacanth. Donald, you dumbass, it's pronounced coelacanth. And also, when did you suddenly become so interested in fishing? Because Obama the coelacanth is the most goatfish in the series, and in this game, I can admire it in all its high-definition glory. You can't even say its name properly, you idiot, Donald. Joe, shut the fuck up. The only thing you can catch are rocks, whilst I, being the supreme fisherman, will catch the coelacanth. Before that look, we can donate all the resources so Timmy can build his shop. Yay, we will finally have a shop! Yeah, Joe, and we get to choose where to place it, too. I suggest placing it somewhere on the other side of the river. Yeah, Obama, I have so many design ideas. We can build bridges and ramps and plant flowers and make waterfalls. It's going to be the best town ever. Joe, the only thing you will be doing is making money. We don't have time for pretty. Fine, then I will just keep your pretty wife entertained with my little Biden Elmau. Shots fired once again by the old fossil Elmau. Joe, fuck off and place the shop down. Okay, I am putting it here, and now we can start fishing and donate more critters and pay off that 98,000 bells. Look, we have fossils to donate, so let's hurry and build the museum what's taking so long, for God's sake, Joe. Hey boys, look, it's Gulliver. Oh, this idiot. In this game, he's so pointless. We have to dig up his communicator parts, but if we keep them, Joe, they will rust and we can build the robot. This is just another thing to add to the list of everything wrong with this game. Also, after we have helped him like 20 times, we get the recipe for the golden shovel, which still fucking breaks. I mean, when would gold ever break? Okay, boys, I found all his parts, and now he can fuck back off to wherever he came from. And now it's time to hunt for the coel canch. Ha 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 ha. Fucking sea bass every single time, Donald. You are just as useless as me. Joe, shut the fuck up. It's not my fault. Every fish is a sea bass. Hey, everyone watching this is Obama from the edit. From here onwards, Joe and Donald argued for about three hours straight, since the only fish Donald kept catching was sea bass. So I got bored and decided to spend time with Michelle. And when I came back, they were still arguing. Anyway, thanks for the continued support, and please like and sub the video. Joe, you are so fucking old, I'm surprised Blathers doesn't want you displayed in the museum, you fucking dipshit. There should be a museum award for you, Donald, being the Sea Bass Award, and it only goes to fat fucking pigs who only catch sea bass. Check it out, Joe. I'm the one who donated the last critter to the museum, so it's time for you to retire and donate yourself to Blathers. Fuck off, Donald. You didn't even catch the coelacanth, and off screen, I paid off the 98,000 bell loan, so why don't you donate yourself? and then future generations will know you as the darkest part of our history. You both have been arguing all day and didn't even realize I left fucking morons. Obama Joe has been the dumbest, most useless fuck in existence, and his arguments are only me not catching the coal canth and him paying off the second loan. Trump, you haven't actually done anything useful all day, and at least Joe managed to pay off the second loan. You have done nothing. Fuck both of you, I quit. You two can carry on by yourselves, I am done. Thank God for that, he has left us now, only if he'd do that for good. Whoa, Joe, you will get us canceled if you carry on like that. Also, you have to apologize to him because our channel is nothing without Donald, as hard as that is for me to say. I am never apologizing to that fat gimp ever. He is so stupid and he brought that upon himself. This conversation isn't over, Joe. We need Donald back. On that note, we should call it a day. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe, and hopefully Donald will be back in the next one. Right, both of you, before we start playing, I think we have some apologizing to do. Don't you agree? Only if Donald says sorry first. 
Joe, you started it with all your crap, so you say sorry first. Jesus Christ, I feel like a single father raising two morons. Both of you say sorry. Now. Fine, Joe, I am sorry for always bullying you and putting you down. You are still my friend and I enjoy playing games with you. Lots of love, Donald. And I am sorry too, Donald, for saying you didn't do anything in the last Animal Crossing New Horizons video. I just don't like it when you bully me a lot, so I am also sorry. Lots of love, Joe. Okay, thank God for that. Please remember to like and subscribe to everyone before I lose what sanity I have remaining from dealing with these two fucking idiots. Hey, it seems Tom is getting some phone calls during the island announcement, boys. I wonder what's going on. Well, Joe, today we have lots to do because we have to start building houses and crafting more items for new villagers that will be joining us tomorrow. Also, the museum and shop is also built, so we should go check them out. And lastly, Joe, you will be clearing all the weeds up. Why do I have to clean all the weeds up, Obama? Because I said so, Joe. Now, boys, we are heading to the beautiful new museum now. I must say, I do enjoy the museum in New Horizons. I wish all museums were like this one. You want someone standing at the entrance of every museum in America, dressed up in an owl costume, sleeping in the day but awake at night? Both of you are interrupting Blather's speech on the museum. He is telling us that the artwork is upstairs, bugs are to the left, fish to the right, and fossils are downstairs. Yeah, but we have nothing to display right now, Obama, so let's go see the new shop instead. Oh, check it out, it's Mabel. Maybe she will open a shop here as well. She will, Joe. After today, she will visit us once a week and we have to buy shit off her, and then eventually she will ask us to build a shop for her. I hate Mabel. She does sweet fuck all like every other major character in this game. Joe, why are you wasting our money on these stupid items? Because, Obama, you told me we need to spend a certain amount of bells for this shack to get upgraded, didn't you? Holy shit. How did you remember he said that, Joe? Anyway, I am impressed. Well done. Donald, fuck off. I'm improving in my gaming skills, and I would like you both to support me instead of continuing to bully me. Remember, you apologized to me. Ha 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 ha, psych, Joe. I can't believe you fell for my apology, you fucking dumbass. You should know me well enough by now, Elmo. Jesus Christ, Donald, can't you just be nice to him for a second? Anyway, look, boys, we have to go see Tom now and see what those phone calls were about. Yeah, and our next house upgrade will cost almost 200,000 bells. Leave that to me, boys. Off camera, I will make absolute bank. Donald, you better not time travel again. Why don't you just go fishing like me and sell some fossils? I will let you sell as many fossils as you want if you play properly. Fuck off, Joe. I am ignoring your dumb advice. Obama, look, we have to go find a place to build a bridge before these three new villagers move in, and I hope to God they are not ugly like Joe L. Mao. Yeah, Donald, also, guys, I have a suggestion. Let's go on Nookazon and get some villagers to replace the ones we currently have because that cat and penguin are really starting to piss me off. I agree, Obama. Tonight we will go on Nookazon and sell our villagers like the bitches they are and then buy new ones. Also, boys, I have the perfect place for the bridge to go. Check it out. Joe, you absolute fucking moron. Why the fuck did you put the bridge there, you dumbass? Okay, Joe, I have to agree with Donald here, you fucking idiot. Wait, what did I do? You built the bridge across the river to a piece of land that leads nowhere, you moron. Why didn't you check the map to see or consult us? See, Joe, this is why I bully you, because you are so useless. Okay, guys, I am sorry about that one, but we can move it later. And anyway, let's focus on building these houses now and making furniture for them. Fine, Joe, but because you fucked the bridge up, you will be the one to pay off that 200,000 home payment. Yeah, whatever, fine, but looks, guys, these are all the items we have to craft for the first villager. I promise not to mess this up. Wow, Joe, you actually finished designing this house without making a mess of it. And you got the ladder, too. Now you will definitely be cleaning all these weeds up, too. Check it out, boys. I managed to finish designing all these houses without fucking it up. Yay, me! I think Joe just had a stroke, Donald Elmao, but well done, Joe, for getting all that done. You did good. Yeah, Joe, well done. See, when you are useful, I can compliment you, so keep it up, buddy. Yeah, and now let's go see Tom Nook and see what he has to say. Look, Joe, even Tom is complimenting you now, so you have all three saying you did good. But just FYI, I'm not apologizing to you again because you can still be a dumbass. And you are still a fat orange-haired pig, Donald, but I am still your friend. Oh, Joe, you should go check the signs and see who will be moving into our town, and then we can work out if they will be worth selling or not. On Nookazon, if they are ugly, LMAO. LMAO, good idea, Obama. Also, look, boys, we have some fencing now, which we can start using to decorate our town. I am thinking we go for a countryside vibe for our town as we can then fill it up with plants and bushes and lots of trees. Sounds good, Joe. I don't mind a countryside style for our island. Marina is our first new villager, boys. 
She's all right, but if we sell her, we can make a shit ton of Nook Mile tickets if we want. Okay, our second villager is Pinky. I have no idea who that is. Me neither, Joe, but I say we surprise ourselves. She might be good. Okay, boys, our last villager is Bo. So we got two goaded villagers and one we are not sure about. I say we take that W and call it a day. Thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Okay, you two here, we are back again with New Horizons. We really need to get terraforming. Yeah, and Obama, check it, that dear Bo has moved in as well. We should go hunt him, LML. Joe, we will not be hunting Bo, he is too adorable. However, we could hunt you, LML. Yeah, Joe, we are not hunting Bo, but anyway, we have a veteran's workshop to do, and boys, don't you think a crazy red should have appeared by now? Yeah, Obama, I think he is here today, so we should go see him and get scammed out of fake artwork. I don't know who Crazy Red is, and I don't know who this Harv person is either. Joe, just like you, Harv does nothing useful for us, but with the two. 0.6 update, he has an updated island, which features some new returning characters, such as Harriet and Katrina. I am still pissed about Gracie Grace not being here, though. Guys, weren't we meant to go on Nookazon and get rid of these useless characters? Don't worry, Joe, I'm working on getting rid of Flo and that stupid cat we have currently. By the end of this video, you shall see what the almighty Donald is capable of. Guys, check it out, it's Bo. And isn't he so cute, OMG? Holy shit, he is so adorable, I should be punished for saying we should hunt him. OMG, Obama, you are right, he is so cute, and I want to give him a big snuggle and rub his antlers. Um, okay, Donald, I think you took it a bit too far, Jesus. Check it out, boys, I found a fossil. I want to go look for the rest of them now. Joe, you idiot, leave the fossils. We still have so much to do. Also, why can't we just time travel so the other peasants move in already and we can carry on trying to get terraforming? I want to obliterate this island and make an island all about me. Donald, you will behave yourself now, you stupid fucking piece of trash. You are talking to Joe fucking Biden here, the president of the United States of America. So know your place, you fat piggy-faced orange jumpsuit baboon. Okay, wasn't expecting all that to come out Joe's mouth. Um, yeah, Obama, I am actually speechless right now. Also, Joe just paid off our house loan like we told him he would have to in the last video, and he has already done that too. I am actually speechless. You keep saying you're speechless, Donald, yet you keep talking. Joe is on fire today. Okay, I think we should just focus on this workshop we have to do right now. We have to customize this wardrobe and make it a different color, boys. Yeah, that's right, Donald changed the subject, but I hope you know your fucking place now. Joe, I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. Well done. Shut the fuck up, Obama. I'm not done with you either. You also bullied me so much when we played New Leaf. Hey, Joe, this will cheer you up. We are almost at 200 subscribers, so why don't you tell all the viewers to like and subscribe the video for us? Oh, yeah! 200 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone, for your continued support. Please hit the like and subscribe button to see me become top dog amongst these two. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. We know you look like a ghost, but you don't need to sound like one either, Jesus. Yeah, but Obama, I am so happy people are enjoying our videos and we are able to make them happy. Also, OMG guys, I'm gonna buy that panda bear, it's so cute. And maybe I can give it to a cute villager who might move in. Boys, I wanted to ask you both when you think the next Animal Crossing game will come out. Well, Obama New Leaf came out in 2012 and New Horizons came out in 2020, so I guess it will be like 2029 and possibly on a new Nintendo device too. Oh wow, we will be able to see Timmy and Tommy in even more high resolution. Hey, you two imagine Timmy and Tommy in full 8K glorious resolution. Joe, out of everything to look forward to in the next game, that is your only concern? Oh boys, look, it's Crazy Red Ship. This is new to me. I thought he would only appear after we built the town hall because when I first played this game, Isabel mentioned someone strange lurking about on the island, and now he is here before her. Well, Obama, maybe he decided to come to our island before Isabel so she doesn't bitch him out. And also, if you think about it, he was released in a DLC which came out after most people, including you, had built the town hall, so that's why it was like that for you. Joe, I am also now speechless. Joe, did you take a pill like in that movie with Brad Pitt where he becomes a super genius? I don't know what you are referring to, Donald, but I told you I am going to change the pecking order around here and become smarter and more savage. By the time we reach a thousand subscribers, I will be walking around the White House with a blunt in my mouth, some cool sunglasses and the San Andreas theme tune playing behind me. Wow, Joe, you also removed most of the weeds like we told you to as well. Uh, Donald, I think he is actually changing. I don't know what to say right now, Obama, but anyway, boys, I did some new things I'm excited to show you in our game. But first look here is Crazy Red. Hang on, Donald, how come it's now the next day? Did you fucking time travel again and how did you take the switch off me? 
Whilst you were ranting, Joe, I took the switch and did many things, but I am also proud of you for clearing the weeds up. It made our island look like what Obama did to villages in Yemen. Jesus Christ, Donald, we all went to the Middle East, so shut the fuck up. And anyway, Crazy Red wants us to go to his ship, so let's see what Artie has. Holy shit, he has the Mona Lisa, and it's the real version, too. Yeah, Donald, we are so buying this bitch, LML. How do you know it's the real version? Because Joe, the fake one, has Mona looking like she has a resting bitch face, but this one is the one Leonardo painted. Oh, wow, Obama, you know so much. I wish to be like you when I grow up. See, look, Joe, if I zoom in now, you can see her eyebrows are not bitchy at all. Wow, she is so hot, I want to marry her, OMG. Oh, Joe, so you are cheating on Timmy and Tommy now, are you? Oh, no, Donald, forget Mona. Timmy and Tommy will always belong to my heart. Uh-huh, Joe, you may have mentally grown up a bit, but you are still a fucking creep. Okay, boys, now back to what I was getting up to earlier. You may have noticed that the houses our villagers have are now different. What the hell, Donald? When did you do this? And oh, God, is that whose house I think it is? We have Raymond on our island now, boys. Ha 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 ha. Donald, how the fuck did you get him? And also, you were the one who was calling him overrated at the start of this series. Joe, shut the fuck up. I don't know what you were talking about. But anyway, boys, this island will be full of the most OP villagers ever. Donald, this is Animal Crossing, not Clash of Clans. We are not building an army. Obama, we are building an army. Oh, wow, you got Apollo as our other villager, too. Donald, he is actually my favorite villager and is perfect as he represents our island and the United States of America. Joe, be quiet a minute. I need to know who we will be invading as Donald now has an eagle to join his so-called army. Obama, we are massing an army to take on all the Uggo villagers and especially one in particular. And who is that one in particular? Mwahahaha, well he will be joining us in the next video, so try guess in the comments who it will be and I will pin who is correct. But anyway guys, let's call it a day. Thanks for watching everyone and please remember to like and subscribe the video. We love you all. Okay boys, time for more New Horizons. Today we will be seeing who our next new villager will be. I think it will be Pinky. And we all don't know who that is. Also I think today will be a good day for us to decorate the first floor of our house and I want to design a living room. I also spent lots of my time asking friends to send me items as well as browsing Nookazon. Good idea, Obama. Also, it seems we will finally be getting a town hall built, which means that cute doggo Isabel will be joining us, won't she? That's right, Joe. Also, please remember to like the video and subscribe, everyone. We are trying to pump out as many of these videos as we can for you all. Oh, great, it's Harvey calling us. And he wants us to go take some pointless photos of Reese and Cyrus on his island. Uh, see, this is what I mean, Joe, when I said he's so useless like you. Obama, remember, I'm going to be turning into a gangster now. I will be Gangster Biden, so you better stop insulting me, and that goes for you too, Donald. LMAO, ignore him, Obama, and go talk to Mabel. We have to buy items off her every time she comes, and then she will eventually open her clothes shop up. I am ignoring him, Donald LMAO, and I'm going to buy this red basketball vest as it reminds me of MJ. You mean Mary Jane from Spider-Man? Why do you want to be reminded of her in any way she dies in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Joe, you dumbass, MJ is Michael Jordan. Who is that? Joe, seriously, I don't even know what to say to you anymore. You say you want to be a savage, yet you don't know who Michael Jordan is. Change your topic. Look, our money tree grew. We need to plant more of those Obama, and also we should go see who this new Pinky character is now. I bet Pinky will be the cutest thing ever. Jesus fucking Christ. See, Obama, this is why I am building an army so we don't have to deal with trash like this. She is so goddamn ugly. I bet we will have to pay someone to take her instead of them paying us. Also, is this the villager who you said in the last episode would be joining us? No, Obama, that villager I will show you at the end of the video, and that one is ten times worse than Pinky. Is it even possible for something to be as worse as this abomination? Elamal, you have no idea, Joe. Just wait. Okay, before that, though, we are designing the living room. And it seems our new payment will cost us 348,000 bells, which means Joe get to work fishing and selling more fossils for us. Obama, fuck off. Donald will be the one doing it now. I'm putting my foot down, remember? So both of you stop bossing me about just because I seem weak and old does not mean I am. LMAO Joe, is this your attempt at being a savage? You have a long way to go, buddy. Donald, this is the last time I will do anything for you both, and it is only day one of Savage Biden, so give me time to improve. Both of you be quiet. I am designing the living room now, and I spent what felt like an eternity on Nukazan and asking friends to drop items off to my island so that I can build the perfect living room. And Joe, I want you to pay attention as you will be designing the next room we do, and I don't want you ruining it like you did in New Leaf. Wow, Obama, this already looks good. I love the falling snow wall and the rosewood flooring you chose. It's so cute. Just wait, Donald. You haven't seen anything yet. 
I'm also looking forward to seeing your design work, Obama. Also, I noticed you got all the gyroids as well. I have not got all of them, Joe, because I ran out of storage space and we can't upgrade our storage until the town hall is built, so this room won't be 100% finished today. I love that we have these cool camera angles and New Horizons, Obama. You have to admit it makes designing much more convenient. It is better, Donald, but it does not take away from the fact that there is still a shit ton of content missing, which I am not happy about. Wow, Obama, this wall looks good now, too. Also, can't we use ceiling items as well, like lights and other stuff? We can't use ceiling items yet, Joe. We have to wait till we start the Happy Home Designer DLC thing before we can use them, which TBH is a fucking joke because I may lose my artistic inspiration by the time we get that. Obama, that gyroid doesn't feel right there. I suggest moving it. Yeah, and move that plan off the table too, Obama. Imagine someone sitting on the couch to watch TV, but instead their vision is blocked by a leaf. I don't remember asking either of you for your opinions, do you? Yeah, well, you are getting them anyway, Obama. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has got one. The fact that Joe gets that and no one in the Senate does is mind-boggling. But anyway, to make you both happy, I will move the gyroid in the plant. Yeah, that doesn't mean go add another plant on the table, Obama, you moron. Donald, shut your fat fucking mouth. This cherry blossom bonsai tree will be on the table whether you like it or not. This is really coming together now, Obama. Nice work. And you put the ship I bought a few episodes ago on display, too. Yay. You're welcome, Joe. I did that because, unlike Donald, you are not talking trash for once. And now I will be customizing our three couches as right now they look ugly. Oh, nice going for the white birch with bear cushions, Obama. Stop trying to sweet talk me, Donald. But yeah, this will make our living room look even better now. Yeah, Donald, shut your fat mouth like Obama said. You don't have long before you end up in prison now, LMAO, and then it will only be Obama and me playing Animal Crossing and Pokemon, and I can't wait for that day. If you think I will actually stop playing, Joe, you're demented, LMAO. You are the one who looks like a dementor, Donald, not me. Wait, what? Joe, you idiot, he said you are demented, not a dementor. Have you been watching Harry Potter? Oh yeah, Obama, the whole movie series got released on Netflix, and I was watching it whilst fishing and clearing all the weeds up the other day. Okay, boys, I'm done designing for now, and we'll spend tonight getting more items so I can finish this room. Also, we need to pay off the next house payment as soon as possible so we can start designing the other rooms. Wow, Obama, it looks really cozy. We should invite Bo and Apollo over for a movie night. Sounds good, Donald and Joe. This is the room you will be designing next, and it will be your turn to spend all night on Nookazan getting the items you want for it. Do you have an idea of what the room will be yet? Yeah, Obama, I have a really good idea of what to design next, but the items will be difficult to get, so I will need to ask some friends to send me them. I don't care how you get the items, Joe, just don't fuck everything up, and now, Donald, it is time to see who this villager is. Okay, boys, and all the viewers, too. Please have your vomit bags ready. They should be located under the seat you are sitting on because this villager is an abomination. Why did you call the villager an abomination? Not abomination, Joe, you idiot. I said abomination. And also, I placed his house as far away from everyone else as possible with no access to his house unless you have a ladder, so we don't get any diseases. Good God, is this the villager you were on about, Donald? Sorry, Obama, I was just sick on you a bit. My vomit bag is overflowing with sick, and I've only been looking at him for a few seconds. Look, he even sat down with his back towards us because he knows what everyone thinks of him. Okay, I say we ask our viewers for any villagers they can suggest to us so that we can replace this monstrosity with as well as Pinky. So guys, please comment below on two villagers you'd like to replace Pinky and Al with. And if they are ugly, we will not be adding them, just FYI. Yeah, good idea. Obama, please comment down below, everyone. And also, no one guessed correctly in the last video who I would bring into our island. But anyway, guys, I say we stop now as I feel even more sick now. Please like and subscribe, everyone, and thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you everyone, and we hope you aren't feeling as sick as we are after looking at Al. Hey everyone, before we start insulting Joe, I would like to thank all of you who provided suggestions to us on what our two new villagers would be. Right, guys? Yeah, right, Obama, also check it out. Isabel is finally here, and we have the town hall now, which means we are closer to getting terraforming and KK. Donald, stop getting distracted. We would like to thank some of our viewers for their suggestions. And also apologize if we did not pick your favorite villager this time, but as you know, islands can hold up to 10 villagers, so we will be asking for more suggestions for future villagers later on. Yeah, we would personally like to thank Natasha8302 for her very detailed suggestion of what villagers we could add based off their personalities. 
thanks to her, we decided to go with Vivian and also Anka, who will be my girlfriend from now on because she is hot AF. Anka's suggestion was also thanks to a viewer called Nemochelable. I hope I pronounced that right, so thank you for your suggestions, guys. Obama's girlfriend is a cat because that's the only pussy he gets, LML. LMFAO, Donald, that was hilarious. I don't even care about that insult. Anka is a solid 10. Also, boys, check it out. Mabel will be building her shop on our island now, too, finally. You have to place their shop on that section of land which the bridge leads to, since Joe fucked up the placing of it. Hey, I already apologized for that oversight, boys, so drop it. Yeah, I was gonna place it here anyway. Also, Joe, you will be designing the next room today in our house, and also we should go island hopping for a new villager too, since we can buy plots of land off Nook now. Oh yeah, boys, I also have something really cool to show you, which I spent time doing off camera, which will make you both really proud of me. We are always proud of you, Joe, but we do have to bully you sometimes just cause it's funny LML. Oh yeah, I also built the campsite, guys, but it wasn't that interesting, so I didn't record that bit. But anyway, it looks like Tom and Isabel are gonna tell us how we can get more animals to visit our island and increase our island rating. Yeah, we need a three-star island for KK Slider to visit. But for now, I will place this house plot here. I have a really good plan for our island, boys. It will look amazing. And also, to our viewers, we will ask you guys for suggestions of things we should design and build too, so stay tuned for that. Okay, boys, time to visit the museum and you are gonna wanna go to the fish exhibit. No fucking way, Joe. Yeah, Joe, don't tell us you completed the entire fish exhibit by yourself. That's exactly what I did, Donald. Holy shit, Joe. I'm very impressed, well done, and I'm sure Donald is too, even if he won't admit it. Wow, you even caught all the ancient fish too, Joe. I will admit it, I am impressed, well done. When you guys say things like that to me, it makes me want to cry so much, I'm so happy. Are you going to try complete all the other sections now as well, Joe? Obama, that is not even a question. Joe will be completing this entire museum. He has not got a choice anymore. He is still our bitch, remember? Glad to see it didn't take you very long to act like a dick again, Donald. But yes, Obama, that was my plan anyway to finish the rest of the museum. Remember, I said that in the beginning that I would... Why haven't you done anything like this in the museum in our New Leaf town? Holy shit, Joe, did you also catch all the diving critters too? Yeah, Donald, all the sea critters are now complete. And to answer your previous question, Obama, it's because the museum in New Horizons is way easier to complete because I had so much fishing bait. Okay, well, Joe, we are looking forward to seeing you complete the other sections of the museum now. Also, guys, please remember to like and subscribe for Joe since he did this all by himself. And I am sure he spent a frustrating amount of time trying to catch all these bastards. Yeah, please like and sub for Joe, guys. Also know we will be villager hunting on Mystery Islands, boys. And remember, all uggos will not be tolerated. Yeah, Donald, no uglies allowed, LML. Okay, who will our first animal be here? What the fuck is that? Okay, so that there, Donald, is a big no from me. Yep, we are leaving. Okay, well, that first one was a disaster. Haha, uh -huh, look, Obama, we found Donald LML. LMFAO, Donald, you didn't tell us you did a cameo in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Both of you shut the fuck up, and my name is not Truffles either. Look at how ugly this fucking pig is, Jesus. Have you looked in a mirror yourself, Donald LMFAO? Take your own advice, Joe, you stupid gimp. Now, now, boys, let's go to one more island and see what we find. Oh, wow, a bamboo island that's pretty rare. I'm just glad there isn't an island full of spiders that would be my worst nightmare. Oh, wow, hey, guys, look, it's Annalisa. One of our viewers commented that we should get her, too. Well, if one of our viewers suggested her and we found her by chance on a mystery island, then we definitely have to get her, don't we? I agree with Donald. We have to get her, even though she isn't my favorite TBH. Well, that's that then, boys. We have a new villager. Now let's head back, and Joe, you will be showing us the next room design you have for us. Okay, boys, check it out. I managed to get all the Zodiac items from Nookazon and some friends so we can have a room full of cool items, which will also increase our Happy Home Academy score. Wow, Joe, this should really boost our score, and getting those items will make our house look even better. Big deal, Joe. Wait till you see what I will do, Obama. You will be even more impressed. Are you both fighting for my approval? Why the fuck would I need your approval, Obama? I am supreme. Sounds like you need his approval, Donald Elamau. Are you admitting that you are no longer the best? He never was the best, Joe LMFAO. Obama, shut the fuck up. I did more as president in four years than you did in eight years. If you want to talk about who did the worst amount of things, then yeah, you definitely did more than me, Donald. How do you like the room, guys? Looks really good, Joe. For your minimal design skills, anyway. Not as good as what I did in the living room, though. Yeah, Joe, it feels like I am about to compliment a four-year-old on a shitty drawing they did. Somehow it's fine, Joe. Ignore him. Anyway, guys, time to call it a day. I want some alone time with Anka. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.
Yeah, guys, please remember to hit the like button, and I hope you all like my room design. I worked really hard on it. Okay, everyone, welcome back to New Horizons. Today we will try and get a three-star island, and Donald will be designing the third room of our house. Also, we have lots of other things to show off to you that we made Joe do off camera, so please remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, the first thing we made Joe do is pay off our house payments for us, as well as get as many recipes as possible so I could place things all around our island in this episode. I also made Joe get all the items I needed to design my room for me, LMAO. Yeah, basically guys, we made Joe do all the work for us as usual, LMAO, and also we have three new villagers to show off to you. Two of them were recommendations from our viewers, and the last we let Joe decide because Donald and I are really nice people. You two fucking assholes are not nice. First of all, paying off the house took ages, and if you both didn't know, I probably don't have much time left on Earth. Also, Donald getting all your ridiculous items on Nukazan was the worst thing ever. What items were they, Joe? Joe, shut the fuck up. I will show you now, Obama. This room will be all about Donald J. Trump, the most supreme, best, most awesome human ever to exist. Oh, fucking hell, Donald, this room is literally gonna be your ego manifested. Yeah, Obama, Donald made me get every single gold item there is in the game for this stupid idea of his. Why did you agree to this, Joe? I think this is your fault, you dumbass. Oh, I bribed him with ice cream, Obama, LML. And also I told him I would buy him shoes, which make it impossible for him to fall over. Oh yeah, Joe, I wanted to ask you about that. Why have you been falling over so much lately, Jesus? You are not being a good representation of what our country is about. Oh yeah, and Donald was a great representation of what America is about, wasn't he? Okay, you got me there. Also, Donald, what the fuck is this room? You are literally just dumping gold items on the floor. There is no order here like there wasn't in your presidency either. This is what the inside of Donald's head looks like, Obama? Yeah, Donald, we are not keeping this room, I am sorry. I would like to ask our viewers what room ideas they could suggest to us which will be better than this shit. You idiots still don't get it, do you? With this amount of gold, we will get a shit ton of Happy Home Academy points. Donald, this is probably up there as one of the worst things you have ever done. Yeah, and he made me buy that fucking crown too, just so he could pretend to be a king. Henceforth, you will both address me as King Donald of the USA, so I expect you both to bow down to me whenever we are in person. Donald, you live in dreamland if you think I will do that, you orange fuckwit. Yeah, but Joe will because I will make him LML. Anyway, boys, I think it's time we show our viewers the latest residents of our island. Good idea, Donald. Once again, we are sorry if your favorite villager didn't get picked, but every so often we will sell some villagers and invite new ones. So please keep recommending new ones to us. But anyway, we got Drake, Bones, and Cat. Cat looks like someone I would pick up from the side of the street in L.A. Jesus Christ, Joe, she is one of our viewers' favorite villagers, so go find out who suggested her. And in the next episode, I expect you to apologize to that person. Yeah, Joe, you were such a bully that was uncalled for. Also, boys, I think it's time we build a bridge as using the vaulting pole is starting to get really annoying. I agree, Donald. Pick the brick bridge as I think it will fit perfectly with our island theme we will have. Good idea, Obama, and it's not that expensive, too. Plus, we can always make Joe get more money for us, LML. You both are not giving me a chance to become Savage Biden because my brain takes a billion years to come up with an insult. It's not fair. Joe, not gonna lie, we don't give a shit. Now, Donald, let's go see our new villagers. Well, this is Kat, and I think she is super cute, so I am going to make her my girlfriend. Now, Obama, we both have cute cat girlfriends, and Joe has no one because he's so ugly. LML. Donald, you insulted Obama in the last episode about having a cat girlfriend, and now you have one to you, hypocrite. Joe, be quiet. We are showing our viewers bones now. Look how cute he is. Joe, find out whoever made this suggestion and thank them for us. I'm not being both of your personal assistants, just so you know. No, Joe, you are not our personal assistant because you are our bitch, LML. Okay, let's see where we are with our island evaluation. Ooh, we are on two stars, boys. If we get that last star, we will finally get KK Slider to visit, and Tom Nook can stop simping over him. Okay, Isabel said we need more fencing. So I will now do what I did when designing my room earlier and dump fencing all over the island until we get that last star. You know what, Donald, I agree with you here. Just dump all the fencing anywhere you want. We need that fucking star after almost 10 episodes of this trash game. Look, boys, it's Drake and he's so cute. Look at him. Why is he running like Naruto? Well, he clearly knows a good anime from a bad one. I just caught up with One Piece and it was amazing. Oh yeah, I just caught up with that time I got reincarnated as a slime and it's my favorite. I love that one, Obama. I also just finished Demon Slayer, but I had to skip all the scary scenes because I got really, really scared. 
Joe, you are such a wimp. If you skipped all the scary scenes in Demon Slayer, then you basically skipped the whole show. I don't care, Donald. I only watch the show because of the sister. She is so cute and hot AF, but when she gets angry and looks like a demon, I hide under my blankets. You know what, Joe? None of that surprises me at all. But anyway, boys, I think it's time to see our island evaluation now. I hope to God we have three stars now. That was so much effort putting all that fencing down. Oh, hell yeah, boys. We finally did it, Three Star Island. Nice work there, Donald. We finally got it, which means we can start terraforming and designing our island properly now, boys. Yay, we did it. Can you guys please let me do the waterscaping, please, please? I promise not to fuck it up. I'll think about it, Joe. You somehow managed to fuck a bridge placement up, so I'm not sure I trust you with water. I vote against letting Joe do anything that involves terraforming Obama. He will probably fall asleep whilst working or end up digging the whole island up somehow. We will discuss this later. Boys, look. Nook is on the phone with KK Slider right now, and he is saying he will most likely come tomorrow to our island to perform a concert for us. Bet you guys didn't know that we can request tracks to KK, and there are four secret tracks we can request to him, too. Joe, I don't believe you. How do you know there are secret tracks? Because Obama, I did some data mining and found out. Joe, stop trying to use big words so we get impressed with you. It won't work. Yeah, Joe, stop lying, you fool. Guys, I am being serious. There are secret tracks. Why won't you believe me? Yeah, whatever, Joe. Anyway, Donald, aside from Joe's bullshit, I think we did a lot today, so how about we call it a day? Good idea, Obama. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone. Before we begin, I think Joe has something to say, don't you, Joe? Well, I was meant to apologize to Fritzy, the kind wanderer, for saying Cat is a villager I would find on the side of the street in L.A., however... In her comment in our last video, she said Drake should be replaced with Lucky or Ken. Now, what kind of stupid idea is that? Just for that, I will not apologize to her, Obama. Ken is a piece of trash villager, and Lucky is an overrated dead turnip of a villager, so I will not say sorry. Joe, shut the fuck up and apologize to her later. Before all that, though, boys, check it out. K.K. Slider is finally here with a show for us. Fucking finally, that only took like half a century, but here we are. It says on the Google that K.K. Slider will perform Welcome Horizons for us guys. I have heard this track on YouTube and it is pretty shit compared to some of the other ones. Joe, I will repeat what Donald said and tell you to shut the fuck up so we can listen to K.K. Well, I have to agree with Joe on that song, Obama. It was pretty shit. All the music in this game is fucking trash compared to the older games. Anyway, we decided to cut the song out because like Joe said, it was shit. And if you get angry that we cut it out, then please blame Joe. Obama, stop telling our viewers to blame me for cutting the song out when you agreed it was shit, too. Fine, but I will tell them to please like and subscribe the video, guys. And also, I would like to thank you all for the constant love and support for these videos we have been getting. Donald, what the fuck is wrong with you letting Joe terraform? He can't even walk up the stairs to Air Force One properly. I also can't ride a bicycle since I fell off one a couple months ago, too. OMG, Joe, why are you so fucking dumb? I'm trying to convince Obama to let you terraform, and you are not helping the situation. I still don't understand why you want to let him, Donald. Obama, you are so dumb too. Think about it. Oh, wait, I see now. Basically, we make Joe do everything whilst we tell him what we want, and then tell our viewers we did all the work and blame Joe for doing nothing, LMFAO. You guys can't keep doing this, it's getting old, and what if I start terraforming and you don't like what I do? Joe, annoying you will never get old, LMFAO. Now be a good bitch and clean all the fences up for us. Yeah, Joe, and we have some suggestions for you. First of all, move Annalise's house from the top to a beach and build cliffs up there and then put our house right at the top of our island because as presidents, we deserve to be above all our peasant citizens. Good to see Joe doing something useful, although we might have to speed this up, Obama, because this is Joe. Yeah, well, it's not my fault the devs of this game made it so that it takes fucking ages to demolish and build cliffs. I bet that is another thing you hate, Obama. Oh, it is Joe. They should have added a creative mode feature like in Minecraft, but it's only accessible after you hit a certain milestone or something, because even if I was doing this shit, it would still take ages, but with you doing it, Joe, it will take twice as long. Obama, shut your fucking mouth. I am doing my best here, especially since you and Donald are forcing me to work against my will, which TBH feels like slavery at this point. Ooh, Leif is here. I love this little guy so much. I want to make him my pet and take him home and stroke him and pet him and love him. Oh, great. Now I have two creeps to deal with. Obama, shut your mouth. At least Leif is of age, unlike whoever Joe is interested in. I bet if I ask Joe right now what he thinks of Leif, he will say he is too old or something. 
Oh yeah, Donald is right. Leaf is a little old for me. But anyway, boys, check it out. I'm going to buy some of the hydrangeas since they are currently in season, which means our island will look super pretty when they have all bloomed. Just so you know, Joe, you are still banned from going to the island on our New Leaf playthrough after the stunt you pulled last time we played, you fucking creep. That's fine, Obama. I just play when you are both asleep so I can go see my little turtle friend. <laughs> okay, time to change the topic. We are still getting lots of villager suggestions and BTW Joe, you better apologize again to that poor girl. But anyway, we have decided every three to four episodes, we will switch out a couple villagers to try keep everyone happy. And was wondering what you, our viewers, would think of that. However, there will be a couple villagers who will be permanent, and those will be Apollo, because he is a bald eagle and represents our great nation. And also Anka, because she is hot F and my girlfriend. Apart from those two, we will switch any of the others out. Obama, what about my cat? That kitty is my girlfriend, remember? No way, Donald, that bitch can go. She literally reminds me of a hooker. Jesus Christ, Joe, you really have to apologize to that girl now. Only if our viewer Fritzy says sorry for saying to replace Drake. Plus, I love his music. I always blast God's plan in the Oval Office when I am alone, and it keeps me vibing. Joe, you fucking dumbass. Are you really confusing Drake the musician with a virtual duck from Animal Crossing? Says the person who has a cat as a virtual girlfriend, LMAO. Whilst you two were arguing, I took the switch off Joe and built another brick bridge, boys. So Joe, go do more fishing or whatever it is you do to make money and pay it off for us, will you? Th yeah, yeah, all I do is all the work whilst you take all the credit. Oh shit, I didn't know Cap'n was here, Obama. Where will he take us? Well, Donald, he will take us literally nowhere because once again, the devs were lazy as usual and just copy and pasted the design of a Nook Mile ticket island and literally changed nothing except some fancy glowing weed. And you can find a gyroid, but that's about it. Ooh, glowing weed, Obama. I can collect some and smoke it with my son. Okay, Joe. We don't need you getting arrested, too. It won't look good to other countries if two presidents get arrested in the same year, will it? America already doesn't look good anyway, Obama. And that's all because of you, Joe Elamau. But anyway, we have arrived on the island, and you are right, Obama. It is trash. Well, at least we can collect some hydrangea bushes that we don't have to wait to grow. And also, these flowers are different, too. Yeah, but that's about it, Joe. There is literally nothing else to do here. I mean, we could collect the gyroids, but I kind of got them all already, so I will take that L. But anyway, this is just bullshit. Imagine how cool it would have been if there were different fruits on this island and you had to try collect them all, like, in New Leaf's Islands. I agree, Obama. There are so many fruits in New Leaf, you could even get durians and lemons. Yeah, I say we leave this trash, it's so dead. Good idea, Joe. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. And, uh... Please remember to like and subscribe for more content. Hopefully Joe will have done more work for us in the next episode. Yeah, thanks everyone for the love and support. I know it's all directed to me because who gives a shit about the other two? So thanks again. Hello everyone and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons Part 10. Wow, you boys have hit double digits, huh? Only if Donald had high double digits with his IQ. Oh great, this wench is still with us, I see. Donald Obama invited me to your New Horizons Island too, and wow, it's very pretty, Obama. Thanks, Hillary. Joe actually did all of this, if you can believe it to impress you. There is no way that Fossil did all of this by himself, Obama. You must be on crack if you think Joe did anything this good looking. Donald, fuck off. I actually spent the last two days moving all the buildings around and terraforming too. It took me ages. So Hillary, are you proud of me? Yeah, Joe, you did really good, well done. The graphics in this game is just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, Hillary, they are really pretty graphics, almost as pretty as you. Ah, you are so sweet, Joe. Now tell me who this cute little dog is. He is adorable. This is Bones Hillary. He was a suggestion from one of our viewers, and he is really cute. No, he is not Obama. He's ugly AF like Joe. No one asked you, Donald. Okay, Hillary, now I want to show you my girlfriend. Her name is Anka, and she is a solid 10. Gosh damn, Obama, she is so cute, but why are we walking in on her while she's about to use the toilet? Oh, wow, she even reads a magazine while she pees. Joe, can you please not talk about her bathroom habits, please? Yes, as a woman myself, this does not feel right. LML Hillary, you call yourself a woman. LML Donald, you call that thing on your head hair. Guys, maybe we should leave Anka in peace. Even I am feeling a little disturbed now. Joe, why are you making that face at Anka, you creep? Because it's the first time he has been with a woman over the age of 12, LML. Joe, seriously, what are you doing now, zooming in on Anka? What the fuck, man? Yeah, Joe, it's time to leave now, come on. Oh, please let me stay a little longer, Hillary, please. 
Joe, why don't you show me your museum? Remember in New Leaf, you said you would show me the museum in New Horizons, and you said you also completed it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yes, let's go do that, Hillary. I want to show you my museum. Wow, it's so pretty inside, Joe. Show me the fish first. Look, Hillary, are you proud of me? Yes, Joe, you don't need to keep asking me that you have done very well, especially with having to deal with that orange pig on a daily basis. Ha ha ha, get burned, Donald, you piggy. Wow, Hillary, so that apology you sent me last night and that meme of Joe was all just a trick? You are so gullible, Donald L. Mao. Anyway, boys, I love the museum, but I noticed an empty spot on your island where a villager used to be. So how about we go hunting for a villager on a mystery island? Oh yeah, Hillary, that villager was Marina. But Joe kept getting weird Japanese fantasies about her, so we had to ask her to leave sadly. Oh dear Joe, what were you thinking about? Hillary, even though I hate you, even I wouldn't want you to delve into what goes on in Joe's mind. That's probably the only thing we can agree on, Donald. Also, I hate you too. Okay, everyone, let's hope this villager will be good and not ugly. Holy shit, guys, look who it is. OMG, we found Maple on the first island. Obama, you have to choose her. She's so cute and fluffy and she's my spirit animal. I want her on our island. What do you mean, our island, Hillary? What do you think I mean, Donald? Are you that stupid? Have you lost even more brain cells since your last court hearing, LMAO? You can't just storm into our playthrough and claim the island is also yours now when you haven't contributed anything to it? Well, I found maple for you three, so there I have contributed something, so shut your fat pig mouth, Donald. Right, Joe and Obama, what do you think? You won't seriously agree with her, will you? Donald, we agree with Hillary. Of course you would, that is such a Democrat thing to say, well, fuck you all, you can't keep ganging up on me. Hillary, look at our bug exhibit now. I recently finished this too. I also want to show you the fight arena and the butterfly room. Joe, we can only see the Beatles fight at night since they are all preparing right now. Okay, then we can come back later for that. Show me the butterfly room, Joe. That should be exciting. Look at all of them. Hillary, isn't it so nice? Wow, Joe, this is so beautiful too. I could spend all day here. The big green butterfly on the right is called the bird wing butterfly Hillary because its wings are like a bird's because they are big. Wow, Joe, I am super impressed with your observation. Thank you for that piece of information. Hey, check it out, Hillary. We caught Donald LMAO. Wow, so funny guys calling me a dung beetle. LMFAO, no Obama. He is the shitball because I have been rolling all over him ever since I joined you three. Ah, uh, Donald, you are getting ripped into so bad LMAO. Wait till she's gone, Joe, then you are getting it. Hey, guys, look at something I did earlier. I revamped the area where Crazy Red docks his ship. And now we have ramps leading down so we can access his boat a lot easier. Do you guys have ideas for what you want to design your island like? Because I can give you so many ideas. Hillary, we don't want your bitch ass ideas. Thank you. We are already going to be designing a countryside island, so go away with your democratic opinions. Ooh, Hillary, look how cute Maple is in her house. Wow, she even has cute little glasses on to read her book. Yeah, but boys, this doesn't make any sense. How can she have a pet bird when there are also other birds in Animal Crossing, such as our goaded villager Apollo? Yeah, look guys, she is sitting here all cute, but she could be a serial killer for all we know, caging budgies up and any other animal who visits her house. What if this bird was once an animal that she kidnapped and has caged forever now? Well, looks like we know who will be leaving in the next video, guys. Okay, what else should we do now, boys? Can we just end the video now so Hillary leaves? She is really annoying like a fly. Who just keeps buzzing around? Yeah, well, Donald, you are like a fungus that just keeps growing back. Hey, Hillary, the last thing I want to show you is this lighthouse we put here the other day. We need to collect all the colors of them and place them all around our island so ships don't crash. Good idea, Joe. Also, can I do the outro, Obama? Sure, Hillary. And also tell our viewers thanks for watching and to give us some new villagers to replace the serial killer bear with, please, as soon as possible. Hey, everyone, thanks for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe. I think I will stick around for the next few videos if that's okay with you all. And also please give us at least three new villagers and we will replace three of our current ones with three new ones in the next video from three different people. Have a wonderful rest of your day too. Wow, this idiot can't even speak properly. How many times can you say three in one sentence? Once again, Donald, no one asked you, so fuck off.